Hey guys, what's going on? Ace here with FMO Media. We're here with Melly Rosario, broker owner of Exit Home Key. And uh, we just want to have a quick chat of some of the results and what it's been like working together, put together a little bit of a case study um, with where she was prior to working with us and where she is today, but just wanted to kind of have her talk about it. Uh, but uh, why don't you just maybe just introduce yourself, Melly, you know. Exit Home Key Realty. My background is 25 years in real estate. I've owned two offices prior to Exit Home Key. Um, and I'm just uh, in love, in love with uh, uh, Exit at this point, you know? How long have you been with Exit for now? We've been with Exit, well, I owned the franchise for three years. Okay. And, but I've been with Exit personally for seven years. Got it, okay, yes. very, very awesome. Yes. So, so let's talk a little bit about like what's, what's been going on. I, I know prior to us working with you, I, we've been working with you uh, for about, about a year now, right? Or something like that, or maybe yes. coming up on a year. It's maybe. coming up on a year, I believe we signed in November. Okay, so yeah, yeah so coming yeah. up on a year now. Um, maybe where were you, like what was life like prior to working prior with us? To, prior to owning an exit office, I did have some experience with social media mm -hmm. and, and marketing. Um, I worked for a marketing company uh, for a little bit there. So I had lots of knowledge and I've tried uh, to subscribe to um, social media management companies mm -hmm. online uh, for the company. And I've also tried to do some search engine optimization on my own. And we've tried search engine marketing on our own. Yeah. And we've tried to manage some ad works. And we've tried to do some Facebook ads. And, and you know, we, we were able to get it going, but we weren't able to stay consistent yeah. and um, we weren't able to grow our following the way we wanted to organically and many of these companies that were managing social media were very generic yeah. right they weren't yeah. organic they weren't local they weren't relevant and so I, I really stopped the hunt I felt like it was just um, useless I, I felt that it, did, it was non-existent we weren't mm. going to find that perfect match right so we, we just really settled on um, uh, asking one of our agents to engage, use more video, and we actually were, you know, uh, compensating them for posting and engaging, and that was working a little bit, but that wasn't um, bringing in any leads. When we're talking about real estate, we're talking about lead generation, right? right. Getting buyer sellers and obviously uh, appearance for future recruitment of quality agents, right? Are really kind of the three funnels. But um, what have you what have you seen maybe with with lead generation and well, when we started, because this was a this was basically a discovery process for both of us. Yeah. Um, when we started um, actually marketing for buyer leads and seller leads, um, I honestly didn't expect to get the results that we did. Right in the beginning, um, as soon as we launched the marketing campaigns, mm -hmm. we started to get leads, yeah. um, and. What I loved about it was that n not only did I reallocate my funds from Zillow, I took my money that I was buying the leads from Zillow and reallocated them into FML, but um, the numbers and the contacts were, were legitimate people. Mm. Whereas we were paying for Zillow leads and 90, 80% of them were not good leads, yeah. right? So the return on investment and the costs per lead was significantly lower and that was a game changer for me you know we started with a smaller spend and we tripled the spend yeah um and you know and then COVID happened mm -hmm. and i was like we're gonna have to pull back and then you know when i reconsidered the results because i already had leads that i had um assigned to agents and they were working those leads i said well we can't pull back now we need to we need to really press forward um, because if we shut down now, we're going to go back, you know, and, and, you know, the lead generation was, was huge and, and the results were evident in the beginning and yeah. still are. However, we started to engage, our Facebook grew, we got more likes, um, you came in and did some video and that brought some traction. Mm -hmm. Um, and our, you know, overall exposure as a company grew, um, and that's just in a process of a few months and that takes time. Mm -hmm you know yeah so it's not just the lead generation but you've done a phenomenal job fmo has done a great job in just um you know giving us a digital footprint that yes. we didn't have mm -hmm. right and bringing in those likes and the followers organically 
and, and just keeping us very um, relevant, right, and top of mind, which and is what I love. And you said something really interesting with COVID where everybody was probably pulling back and being really mm -hmm. restrictive. You, mm -hmm. you did the opposite. I did. We reinvented ourselves. So we said, you know what, let's go virtual. Mm -hmm. Let's promote the virtual appointment. And by doing so, um, actually, one of my agents is out with a buyer today from the virtual appointments. Mm. Okay, she's showing a property in Bayshore. So, um, you know, we, we just reinvented ourselves and I think together as we collaborated and because you were um, open, um, FMA was open for suggestions, open to um, allowing me to, to just pretty much design what we wanted, yeah. um, we, were, we were able to create something that was actually productive. Sure. Um, and, it's, and it's given us a great return on our investment. That's awesome. And, and I mean, I know a big thing is we, we, we talk to so many brokers, right? And uh, they're reallocating funds is something that you're always right. looking to do. So, so for you, reallocating the Zillow and what you, because I, I don't know what you were spending on Zillow versus with the targeted ads you're running with us. Are you, are you saving money now doing that? Um, or, or we, you... we, we pretty much, we were saving money when mm -hmm. we started with you. Yep. Right now we're over the, what we, we were spending on Zillow, mm -hmm. but it's money well spent. Got it. Um, you know, I, I'm, I've never looked back. Got Honestly, it. it's, it's, you're our company, you're our marketing company. And we tell every seller, we have a marketing company. It's an, a value added to take listings. When you know you're telling the seller, we do a marketing campaign around your listing. Mm -hmm. We feature your listing on social media and we can say that legitimately. We pay a marketing company to feature your listing. That's, that's value add. Um, yeah. you know, and, uh, our agents can, can truly say that when they go on a listing appointment. You're bringing more quality we're to your bringing, clients. We're yeah. bringing quality and value. Absolutely. Right? And we're so. giving the listing most ex more exposure. Um, most agents aren't investing in a media company to promote their listings. Yeah. Yeah. So that's great. I mean, so, I, I mean, you guys heard it here, right? <laughs> I'll wrap this up. I mean, biggest thing is traction. Every brokerage, every company is going to need something different, right? Absolutely. Maybe it's lead generation. Maybe it's Absolutely. branding. Uh, maybe it's, you know, targeted ads. Maybe it's. Like you recruiting. said, recruiting, yeah, getting quality agents and the appearance of the day-to-day -day life. There's, you know, we do it all. Um, every brokerage is going to need something a little different. I'm, I'm glad we've been able to help out Exit Home Key the way we have. Absolutely. And uh, we're excited to help all you guys. Talk to you soon. Book a time with us.